Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn very important topic, what is test strategy. Now I'm covering this topic because there is a lot of confusion between test plan and test strategy and you need to understand what is the difference between the test strategy and test plan because these two terms are highly you know misunderstood uh, in the software testing industry and you need to have you know clear understanding what is test strategy what is test plan and the differences between test strategy and test plan and how you are going to use these documents so let us uh, you know get started and get the details of the test strategy and then in the next tutorial i'll compare how test strategy and test plan are you know um, different or what are the differences between test strategy and test plan so if we talk about uh, the test strategy at high level it is basically what it defines is it's another you know testing document um, and like test plan is a document so test strategy is also a document which is uh, which can follow a predefined template but if you see on my screen these are the key sections that um, you know need to be covered as part of the test strategy document there will be more sections as per needed by the organization but these are you know like key sections that should be there and if required organization or based on the needs of the organization you can update the content of the test strategy document now what exactly is test strategy so test strategy defines the general way uh, testing will be approached within an organization so it is independent of the project so for example um, there is an organization say uh, you know big organization IBM or any other big organization and IBM wants to define a strategy document so IBM as an organization will define a test strategy document which will be independent of any specific project what this means is that it will be very high level and it will cater for you know the key things or key um, approach that needs to be followed by any testing project that will be you know uh, performed within the organization doesn't matter what type of testing project it is the strategy will outline the high level approach of testing and other related activities of testing across the organization all right so this is basically you know high level uh, definition of test strategy it is at the organization level and uh, it uh, and then you know like uh, it also depends so i'll cover a couple of more details sometimes test strategy uh, if if there is you know like a small organization with just one project there might not be two separate documents so there might not be separate test strategy and test plan so test strategy might be included within the plan itself okay but if it is a big organization um, there will be an organization test strategy uh, document and then there will be multiple you know a test plan as per the project so a separate test plan for each project right so if you talk about strategy and plan hierarchy so you will have uh, you know test strategy and then below test strategy you will have you know multiple projects so test strategy will be at the org level so organization level uh, will be defined if it is you know like a big organization and then below the organization uh, in the org chart you will have multiple projects say for example i have project one uh, project two project three and a uh, project four so many many projects so any project that will be um, tested within that particular organization will have its own test plan right so test plan will be specific to project and test plan refer to the high level um, testing approach that is being defined in the test strategy and they'll um, get most of the details from the strategy and try to align their software testing of the project as per the organization's test strategy okay so this is a broad overview of the test strategy and how it is related with test plan okay now what exactly test strategy includes it includes the details of um, test types environment uh, you know um, any artifacts that need to be produced by any of the project so it doesn't matter uh, project a is doing testing b is doing testing 
the test strategy will define high level across the organization that when you are doing or when you are engaging in testing of any project these are the list of artifacts or these are the test artifacts that you need to produce right so for example you need to come up with test summary report you need to come up with test plan for the project you need to come up with the uh, you know test cases right so all that high level details goes into the test strategy okay now if i talk about the key components of test strategy so these are the seven key components that need to be covered in the test strategy document when you are whenever you are documenting first thing is the scope and environment so what all um, you know scope should be considered whenever any project is being considered for testing or testing needs to be engaged in any you know project so what is the scope and environment um, then you know testing approach what all test levels need to be followed say for example in the test strategy document um, as at the organization level i want to define that unit testing in integration system system integration testing user acceptance testing all those testing levels need to be followed and within those testing level what all details need to be covered so at the org level testing approach will be defined and then based on the project or type of project or complexity of project this testing approach will be you know carried forward in the test plan and updated as per the project okay so it, it won't be copied as is from the strategy but it will be you know a strategy will be referred and it will be a baseline for the approach in the test plan for a project but and there will be an extension to the approach similarly there will be an extension of scope and environment then strategy will also consider about the test environment specification so what all test environment detail need to go there there how the test environment will be spin up who will be responsible uh, what will be the specification of the test environment so all those details at the high level at the organization level right so for example at the organization level whenever we are engaging into testing or any project is engaging into testing they need to ensure that the test environment is as close as production environment okay so that could be one of the point in the test strategy so a test environment specification needs to go there at a broader level then all the testing tools so what testing tool will be used for test management for defect management if there is automation that needs to be done what all testing automation tools will be used what this helps is in um, say for example on organization within organization there could be hundreds and hundreds of you know projects going on when you define uh, the organization level test strategy and other you know high level test strategy the testing tools uh, and you define the testing tools then there is a you know a bit of consistency across the projects right so there is no um, confusion say for example project a is using selenium project b is using tosca project c is using something else so when you define testing tools and a list of tools that can be used in the strategy those are the tools that the team will use and they'll be maintained by some you know center of excellence or um, some some centralized team and that will help the other projects within the organization uh, during the testing activities right so um, the next thing is around the release management how the builds will be managed how the release will happen to the testing um, what will be the frequency of the build all those details will go into release management section then risk analysis uh, what all projects need to consider about when doing the risk analysis of the project and reviews and approval so who all will be reviewers or approvers in any project say for example um, if I am a project A and project A needs to be you know worked by uh, or, or re reviewers uh, can be you know like test, test manager of the project A project manager so all those roles will go into uh, into the test strategy as reviews reviewers and approvals and when any project is referring to the test strategy and writing their own test plan in that case what they'll do is they'll refer to this section and in the test plan they'll mention those roles as reviewers 
and approvers for a particular project plan okay so these are the key sections that need to be included as part of the test strategy and test strategy is at the organization level at the high level and it defines all the information that a testing project needs to follow whenever they are doing the detailed uh, implementation of the test plan and in the test plan you will go ahead and you will refer the uh, points that have been mentioned or the details that have been mentioned in the test strategy and elaborate those as per the test plan okay so that is all you know uh, the importance of test strategy in uh, the big organizations in some you know small organizations where you do not have uh, you know too many projects going on so in those case the hierarchy of test strategy so for example this is test strategy and test plan so like it the hierarchy is something like this for test strategy and test plan in big organizations but in small organizations where you don't need there are there are not many projects in that case within test plan itself the strategy or the test strategy will be elaborated right otherwise in test plan during the approach or in the approach um, section um, the testing details or the test approach will be elaborated and you know testing approach from the test strategy will be applied and there will be more additions to that approach within the test plan each test plan each project test plan as per the project details all right so that is all about uh, the test strategy document and why test strategy is important and the hierarchy of test strategy okay so i hope uh, this was clear and you know you are now um, clear about the test strategy and test plan relation what exactly is test plan and how test plan uh, how uh, what exactly is test strategy and how test plan is related to test strategy and uh, you know different options when test strategy will be written and when it will be part of the test plan so in the next tutorial i'll cover the differences between the test strategy and test plan so that's all for this tutorial hope it was clear please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching